Good morning! I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to RuneScape. I took literally no time in between the beginning of this episode and the last episode, because I need to get to the... I need to get some ores for these guys, so I'm gonna buy some, uh... Some five... Silver ore. I'm gonna buy... Five of those for... I don't know, just however much. Okay, got it. Um, oh, do they need to be not 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 noted? Okay, let's um, let's do this real quick. Deposit all, withdraw all. There we go. Okay, then I can just go. I can teleport back to Keldegrim with this trapdoor, and hopefully th this should not have been 15 minutes. Um, and then. If I have the ores that I need for the rest of their stuff, I can go check them below. Maybe I should check to see which ones I have. Um, I don't know, maybe. Okay, go, 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 go. Speed, speed is key. All right, so we're gonna go, uh, I guess we're helping the silver cogs or whatever. I guess we just need to talk to one of them, so there's that. All right. Silver cog. I mean, it, it makes sense that you're- I'm giving you silver. Alright, silver cog, secretary. Here's your ore. I'm so happy that we put trust in you, it's not been in vain. Uh, do you have another task for me? I guess I have to do this several times. Uh, we have something for you. Four pieces of copper ore in the next 14 minutes. I'll take it. Oh, I guess they got caught stealing? <laughs> Alright, I'll go check to see if we have copper. I don't know if we do. Uh, but this one I can just- I can go check over here, and then if I don't, we can teleport back again to there. Uh, okay. Because I can just check right here. Um, copper. I don't. Of course I don't. Um, earth rope, Edgeville. Uh, wait, does- does Edgeville have copper there? Actually, you know what? I can mine- I can mine it in Lumbridge. Um, so let's go do that. Because there's the one right in the swamp there, and I'm pretty sure they have copper. And I need four coppers, right? I mean, that's pretty easy to- easy to get. Because it's literally just right over here. Um, okay. At least it should be. Down over there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Quick, quick, quick. We can do this. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do the best. We're gonna do the best thing ever. I thought that I was- I thought that I was done! And then I have to do these copper. Okay, there we go. Four copper. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, and I guess I also got a challenge done? Nice. Cool. Okay, uh, let me put that back to the quest tab. Okay, so now I can just teleport. Oh, okay, this is why they said, because I have to go to Edgeville anyway to get back to, get back to there. Got it. I mean, this isn't a big deal, because it's not going to take me 15 minutes to... To, to go through here. Alright. Oh, wow. 44,000 experience in mining for that. That was- that's nuts! How many is it for a level up, even? Oh, it's a lot. <laughs> uh... Never mind. I was gonna say, it's like a whole level, and it's not even close to a whole level. Alright. And let's go to quick tra- oh, quick travel. There we go. Quick travel to Keldegrim. Okay. Is it just gonna let me be- Nope, it's still gonna do this little- little song and dance here. Alright, that's okay. These guys are really close to the edge of the door, though. There's another spy on rock here. I should get- I should get those quests done so I can spy on the penguins. Um, nope, door's already open. Good. Alright, let's go. I've got your pieces of copper. 
Here's your task. Here's your ore. Okay. Uh, do you have another task for me? Just a moment. We do need something. Four pieces of iron. I'll take it. Great. Four pieces of iron. I don't have iron. Because I 100% I know that because I just used that iron that I mined earlier. Actually, is it faster to just go over here and quick travel? Ride train, train cart. Oh, take the one in the front, of course. Uh, Grand Exchange. Alright. Is this, is this faster than doing the, the, that? Okay, it is. Cool. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. But I'm just gonna buy the iron here. Alright. How many was it? Uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna buy five. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's right. I gotta not get it noted. Okay, also I'm gonna remove this placeholder. I'll remove placeholder. There we go. And then just go back. It's nice that the- it's nice that this is here. There's- this is probably why... This is probably why it's here. Alright. How many times did I have to do this? Did it- did it say five times? I was not paying attention. I'm paying attention to my own thing. How many have I done? Uh, three? This is the third one? Yeah. Okay. And the door's closed. Great. Alright. Making- making progress. We're gonna do the thing. This is probably the most tedious thing this game has had me do so far. Alright. Here you go. Uh, do you have another task for me? Eager worker such as yourself, five pieces of gold ore. I'll take it. Okay. Um, do I have five pieces of gold ore in my... I might. Let me check. I don't want to have to go buy more gold ore. Uh, let me check the furnace. Alright, what do you got? Gold ore? Gold ore. Yes! I thought I did. I've got a lot, actually. Oh, hold on. I, I only needed four iron, I guess. Well, it's always good to have an extra one. Deposit. Okay, there we go. You know, I should just, at some point, just collect a- like, get a thousand of each of them and just put them in there. So that I have it ready for if I need them for anything later. That might be the smart thing to do. Um... Nope. Cog secretary. Here's your ore. Wonderful. A person you'll ever see that goes to the trade floor on time. Uh, speak to the director. Why? Standing right over there. Aha! Is that enough? What have you come to ask of us, honorable polarized moon? Um... Balsadar... Blasidar, the sculptor, has sent me. Oh, yes. This is in connection with the statue, presumably. He says he needs to know which, what the head of the statue should look like now that it's no longer going to look like King Alvis. Ah, yes. Herodmar suggested it should be one of us. The era of kings is long gone, after all. Now the consortium provides peace and, above all, prosperity, so the statue should reflect this. Redim Redmar? Who's Redmar? The director of the Red Axe. Ha! Oh, the fool quite fancies his own head on top of that statue. He thinks he can get away with that just because the company is one of the largest in the consortium. So I shouldn't tell the sculptor that he should base it on him, then. Certainly not. The consortium has met yet to make a decision. All the companies are vying for the honor. Uh, I would support you. Ah, uh, would you now, would you? I'm not altogether sure. Much appreciated though you are, I'm not really part of the Silver Cog as- You are not really part of the Silver Cog, not as such. What if I were? Were what? Part of the Silver Cog? Yes, that might certainly change things. I'd like to officially join your company. Hmm, interesting. A human joining the Silver Cog. Mm, 
but no. You may have proven yourself as head secretary, but much appreciated as so you have not fully proven yourself to me yet. So no, I cannot grant you this request yet. Keep in mind, in the meantime, you can help the concealed cock out in any way you can. Do you have any more tasks for me? Why, certainly. Two bars of gold the next 14 minutes. I'll take it. I can do that. Excellent. Alright, that's easy. I've got I've got gold out the wazoo, I guess. Um so I guess I'm joining the silver cog. Does it matter which one I join? Am I joining the wrong one? Ugh, I don't want to check that until after unless I make unless I'm making mistakes or whatever. Okay, so gold bar. Let's withdraw two gold bars. And there we go. Well, before it was all ores, and now it's a bar, so maybe, maybe now he'll let me join? I don't know. Okay. Cog director. Completed your task, here are your bars. I am pleased with your work, Polarized Moon. Uh... I'd like to officially join your company? Hmm, interesting. Not fully proven yourself to me yet. Okay, I'm gonna check this. What what am I supposed to be doing here? Uh okay, secretary will chosen groups of two to five, repeat this five times until you speak to the director. Blah blah blah. This nest myth players already After you've done the cat uh, after completing five tasks and the director wishes to speak to you, once the secretary allows you, you will have to do four tasks for the director, ask for bars. Okay. All right, all right. So I just have to keep doing this. Any more tasks? Did I do five? There's no way I did five, did I? Three bars of bronze in the next 16 minutes. I'll take it. Okay. All right, do I have bronze? I might, ha I might not have bronze. I might have to go buy the bronze. Um. Let's see. I don't know. I don't have I don't have tin or I don't have copper to I don't have copper to do that either. Um I have two bronze bars. How many did he say? Oops, I was not paying attention. Uh you know what? I'm just going to go buy I'm going to go buy 5 from the Grand Exchange and then I'll have extra because I'm, I'll need them later anyway. So there's that. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna buy five. He said two, three. I think he said three. I don't. I don't even know anymore. My brain is shut off. Apparently. Which quest do I need to use to be able to use this furnace? I don't remember. Oh, somebody's using it. All right. This is a lot of back and forth. Except for, I think, the one small favor quest is even more back and forth than this. Because I think that's one of those, like, fetch quests. Where it's like, oh, you need to go get this, and then give it to that guy, and then give it to that guy. I think that's what that is. One small favor turns into a whole bunch of everything. Uh, bronze bar. Let's get five of those. And then... Just jack up. You know what, I'm just going to get ten of them because I'm going to need them anyway. Uh, collect items. Oh! <laughs> that was weird. It filled up my whole inventory there for a second. I thought that I bought more than I did. Alright. We're going to... We're going to do it. We're going to do it this time. I wonder if they're ever going to, like, fill in the skyboxes in the underground areas. Then again, I don't know if I've been to any, like, brand new underground areas. Maybe they, maybe the newer ones have fixed the skybox, or added stuff to the skyboxes. Because as of now, they're either just black or a color. Uh, like, this is just gray. Alright. Here's your bars. There was three. Okay. Have you ever considered joining the Silver Cog, Polarized Moon? You would make a marvelous member. Uh, I'd like to officially join your company. Hmm, interesting. A human joining. Uh, you have certainly proven yourself to be a most worthwhile contributor. 
I have not seen such dedication in all my years as the director of this company. It is agreed then. You are now a trusted associate of the Kil Silver Cog. Welcome. I will not disappoint you. Um, so now I do this. This connection with the statue. No longer looks like Elvis. Blah, blah, blah. Redmar Consortium. Base it on him then. Certainly not. Vying, I would support you. Ah, would you now? Would you? As my will work, yes. An outsider to the city might have considerably more influence than one might expect if we pay our, play our cards right. How do you mean play our cards right? I'm going to wait until the most opportune moment for you to show your support, yes. You must really come along to one of our meetings. Now you're really... What meetings? A consortium meeting, when all the directors meet on the top floor of the palace. We have them from time to time. We'll have another one soon. Two ones and all solve our little problem with the statue. Now, what do you say? Will you speak to me the next meeting? That way I can base the head of the statue on me. Yes, long live the silver cog. Hurrah! Good time to visit Keld Feldeban at the Black Guard in the west of Keldegrim. Okay. So, is there... Hold on, I want to look this up now. Um... Let's see. The blue op... Give the items to Riki, the sculptor's model. If you've done so, if you've not done so already, talk to Blasadar again. He will tell you that the director of the course orphan, blah blah blah. Uh, before which you will not be able to join the consortium. Your job is to get an agreement amongst the members. There are eight mining companies in the consortium, each stationed in the upstairs of the marketplace. Um, you need to impress and join one of them. The companies you. For, you may choose from our blue opal, brown engine, only male players may join. The green gemstone, purple pewter, red axe, you cannot join this company. Um, silver cog, the white chisel, and the yellow fortune. Only female players may join. The secretary of your chosen company, blah blah blah. So I guess it doesn't matter which one I join. Alright, I'm gonna put my... Actually, I'm gonna put these... Um, I'm gonna put these in the in the, the thing. So then I, the black guard guy is over there. Uh, so let's go talk to, let's go talk to him and let's deposit all these into the furnace. So I'm just not carrying them around a bunch. All right. Professor Manglethorpe. Is that a, is that a, a gnome? What's a gnome doing here? Lava flow miner. Do these guys just randomly wander around the, the place? Or at least some of them? What news from the Consortium Polarized Moon? I've told the director of the Silver Cog that I will support their bid to be put upon the statue. Then perhaps they can finally end their impasse. Well, let's go to the meeting then. Wait, now? Yes, now. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Cool. I have to warn you, this meeting may take a while. Do you want to attend the meeting personally, or do you want to minutes of the meetings you can read what happened afterwards. I, I'll attend, no matter how long it takes. I'm happy to hear that. Let's hurry then. I think the meeting, meeting is already starting. Alright, I guess this is going to take a while. Keldegrim Palace Consortium Meeting. Brown... Certainly it is I who must be suitable. A male? How preposterous! But the statue is... Clearly male. Can't have a female head. That would be funny. Ah, oh. Enough of this, everyone. This bickering is pointless. The Red Axe is the largest and wealthiest among the company. We have all the rights here. And the fact that the Red Axe does its accounting behind closed doors makes that qu claim quite dubious. We are not assembled here to squabble over accounting details or the economic state of the consortium. Perhaps then we should choose from the director for the statue at random. No, I will go on top of that statue. I proposed this in the first place. I don't know about that. I I, I think I... Veldeban, commander of the Black Guard in Keldegrim, presenting himself to the consortium with the guest. Bow. A human at a consortium meeting. What is this? 
This human helped rebuild the statue. He has deserved this honor, surely. I, I, I. Amusing, I accept. This is outrageous, I'm warning you. The Red Axe will boycott the Trade Octagon. Stop your hollow threats and let the human speak. Well then, Polarized Moon, what is it going to be? I choose the Silver Cog. <laughs> he just leaves. You'll regret this, all of you. Oh, there's the cat. Aw, I feel bad for the cat. Well, that wasn't very long. A little while later. Yay! That looks nothing like that guy. Okay, cool. I feel like they need to update this statue a little bit. Because it doesn't look anything like what they've done so far. <laughs> Okay, cool. Hey, I did it! Fantastic. The ability to complete tasks for a Dwarven Mining Company. Ability to use Dwarven Mine Carts, access the members' gravestones, two treasure hunter keys. Cool. Did it. I did- Oh, read meeting notes. Uh, in attendance, director of all these guys, the human polarized moon guest. Many suggestions were heard for those head, for whose head to go on top of King Alvis's new statue, a change from the original plans proposed by the director of the Red Axe. He suggested that as the most powerful company in Keldegrim, he should have the honor. This claim, however, cannot be entirely verified for accuracy. After much deliberations, it was proposed to pick a company director at random, but this met with fierce resistance from the Red Axe. At this point, Veldaban, the commander of the Black Guard in Keldegrim, joined the meeting and introduced the human polarized moon. It seemed appropriate that instead of choosing a company at random, the human would decide. Thus, the Silver Cog was suggested. Despite threats by the Red Axe to boycott the Trade Octagon, the motion was accepted. Great. Cool. Okay. We did it. So now, we get to move on to the next quest. Let me throw these in the bank. Real quick. Alright. Yeah, my random... My random stuff tab is starting to really get filled in. Uh, but now I can actually use more tabs, so I might I might reorganize this stuff on my own at some point um, But for now, we're just gonna move on to the next quest. That's the wardrobe not the quest Forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf Talk to the commander of Veldaban in the black guard HQ All right, I guess we're just gonna keep doing uh, oh, It's a long quest All right, we're gonna keep doing these quests I guess we're just gonna talk to him again. I guess that makes sense because I'm already here. All right, no, that's Bray. Polarized Moon, how have you heard? You mean half the world has suddenly become a farm? Half the world has suddenly become a farmer? No, not that. It's the Red Axe. What have those little grumpy little guys done now? They left the city. They were already boycotting the trade floor, but now they've completely left the city. Oh dear, is that serious? It's never happened before. At the moment it's unclear if they've let the consortium as well. The directors are in turmoil. So, what happens now? Well, I may require your services again. Are you interested in hearing more? Forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf. Accept quest. Very interested. We need more information about what the Red Axe is up to. Are you asking me to spy on them? Isn't that treason? Uh, the other directors the consortium won't think so, and you're likely to expel the Red Axe completely. Anyway. So, where would you like me to go? That's the problem. We don't know where they've moved their headquarters to. We may have one lead. Yes? There's a dwarf. All the way in the northeast in Keldegram East. He talks about kebabs a lot. Don't suppose you've met him. He's a drunken dwarf, yes. Uh, I do believe so I have. Smashed glasses, wrecked house, poor personal hygiene standards brother or cousin to that other drunken dwarf? That's him, poor fellow. He didn't always used to be like that. He seems to know something about the Red Axe for some odd reason. He speaks of them sometimes in his many rants. Problem is, no one believes him. Everyone thinks he's completely mad, and perhaps they're right. But if he does indeed know something about the Red Axe or where their headquarters may be, we need to find out. 
What do you say then, Polarized Moon? Do you want to help the Black Guard with this? Sounds like just the job for me. Excellent. Good luck to you on your quest. May Guthix protect you. Fantastic. Oh, I guess we've got cutscene. Um... Okay. I know where the guy is. Are we... Oh, we're, we're following someone. Oh, I'm standing there. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought we were following someone. I, I know that we're talking to the Drunken Dwarf, yeah. Was that just to show me where he was? Because I already knew that. Oh, it was me walking over there. Well, here I am, at the Drunken Dwarf's relative's residence, who is also drunken. I wonder what drunken tales he can tell me. All right. I'm just gonna take- I'm just gonna clean up your glass here. Because I can. There you go. Have fun with that. Hello there. Are you- Oh, I need to know about the red axe. The red axe will come for you! What do you mean? I, I can't think straight when I'm sober. You look very you don't look very sober to me. Don't contradict me or I won't tell you about him. Oh, about the- Whatever it is you wanted to know. Have you ever considered to stop drinking? It's bad for you. Oh, stop. Right off you get me some of the good stuff. Okay. Do I have to get him just some beer then? Drinking Dwarf's gonna be a drink. A beer, perhaps. Alright. I have a lot of beer in my bank. So, I will go get some of that. This may very well end up being the last quest that I do in this, in this session. Um... Because if it's that long, I only have tomorrow. I only have tomorrow to finish all of my my stuff here. So, uh, and I usually do. I already finished a quest today, and I do one quest a day plus whatever extras. So, depending on how this goes, this might be the last quest I do. Um, where's my beer? There it is. All right, get you a beer. Do I need to get you a kebab also? Alright, so if we end up finishing this quest in this episode, which I highly doubt, um, I'll do another quest. And then if we don't finish this episode, I'll finish this quest tomorrow, and then this will be the final quest. At least I think so. And then if there's just any extra time, I'll, I'll do whatever loose ends I, I've got before then. Need to know about the Red Axe. Did you give me some of the good stuff yet? Yes, here you go. Ah, what's that? No, no, I, I want some of the really good stuff. What's the really good stuff then? The original Kelda Stout, blue ash in the river, ash strong old. Don Kadan or Don Don Cat Don Dakin's rock, ash foul tasting ash ash. I don't think that's good for you. I know, but give me some of it anyway. Here, here's have a seed. What am I supposed to do with the seed? Silly human, you silly, silly human. You need four seeds and grow them into hops. Hop, hop, hop. Uh, where do I get the other seeds then? Some of the old drinking buddies might have them. They're quite hard to find, you see. Oh, yes, quite hard to find. Drinking buddies. Yes, find me some drinking buddies. No, find the other seeds, yes. All right, I think you're trying to say is I need to find some other drunken dwarves, collect Kelda seeds from them until I have four, and grow them into hops so I can make Kelda stout. You're awfully smart for a human. Maybe that's because I don't drink as much as you. Great. Okay. I need to find four other drunken dwarves. I might need a... Oh, Rowdy Dwarf? Are they all here? Hold on a second. I need your help. Your help for me. You must be more drunk than I am. No, 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 I don't- I try not to get drunk, but it, it's not good for you. I do need help in brewing some beer. Mmm, beer. I need to brew Kelda Stout. I haven't got enough seeds to grow the hops. Mmm, Kelda Stout. Do you know where I can find any seeds? Mm, oh, yes. I might have a seed like that. Uh, you're not just gonna give it to me, are you? No. Alright, then. What do you want for it? Let me think. Uh, give me a white apron. 
What? Where am I gonna get that? Alright, here at least you can make the effort. Um, is the white apron the one that you can get in Port Serum? Uh... Well, let's see. I mean, let me check... Oh, just... Okay. It just says I have to go do it. Alright, four different drunken dwarves. Um... White apron, yeah, there's white aprons in here. Okay, can I trade... Okay, you don't have them, but I can buy one from you, right? Uh... Yes, can I work out front now? No, I'm the one that works there. Okay, maybe I can just go in there? Put your white apron on before going in there, please. Oh, do I have... Do I just have an apron in my bank? Am I a dumb? Or I guess I could just go to Edgeville. I could go to the Grand Exchange and buy one. Alright, so I have to remember where all the drunken dwarves are. There might be one in the pass underneath... Uh, underneath White Wolf Mountain. Um... There may be one in... I guess... There's probably one in the dwarf place right over here. In the mine. So maybe I'm not too far off from... Do I even have a white apron? I don't. Okay. So I'm gonna have to buy one. And that's not a huge problem. Unless they're not tradable. I don't see why they wouldn't be, though. Alright. So after I give this guy a... After I give this guy one, I'm gonna check... Uh, the other places, the two other places that I can think of where there might be one. Um, unless they're all in Keldegrim, which I wouldn't expect. Oh, whoops. White apron. One, oh, they're pretty cheap. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're not being sold. Uh-oh. This might be bad. White apron. Let me just jack this up. I'm gonna go $5,000. If nobody's selling one, they're not getting sold. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have to search up how to get one. Um, let's see. White apron. Uh... Let's see. Players must be wearing a white, white apron to... White aprons can be bought at the fine clothes store in Varrock. Okay, actually, I'm right near there. Okay, got it. Okay, good. Now I know what I'm doing. It's funny that you need to get a white apron. You have to be wearing a white apron to get a white apron from the back of that shop. Okay, so I can get one, but I can buy one over here, so that's not a big deal. Did he give me one before, or... I'm not entirely sure. Trade! Here we go. White apron. There we go, okay. So now, actually, I might as well just go back to there and then take the Keldegrim thing. Alright, so... Now I'm gonna check, uh, so after this I'm gonna check the, the, I'm gonna check the, uh, words that I'm looking for first. The Risen Pack. Oh, that is a cool sword. I like it. The Twisted Jester. That's the new one. Um, I'm gonna go check the, 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 the mining camp, or the mining caves there south in, uh, just over by... What's that place called? The Dwarven Mine? I'm gonna check the Dwarven Mine after this. Okay, quick travel. Alright, so I've got... One hops. Cart conductor. He's kind of wandering around in here somewhere. There he is. Rowdy Dwarf. Alright. Rowdy Dwarf. Gotcha. Do they just random ask for random things? That might be the case. Do you have any Kelda seeds? Where's my, uh, oh, oh yes, white apron. Oh, look, I've got it here. 
Splendid. Give that to me, please. Now, how about those seeds? Well, I gotta kill the hop seed right here. Crash down to the generation of the generation of my family. Wow, really? Nah, no, just get in here. Have the seed. Well, it can't be farming some dirt patch anyway. Suppose you won't ever have a proper job or do some decent hard work, no? What was that? Nothing. Okay, so let me go check the other side of the city now. Um, actually, this is a this is the bar here. Um, I might as well check. Oh, Post Pete. Posty Pete's here. No, no, no. Hey, no. I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, dang it. The beast. Hello, cat. Cat glowers back at you. Friendly, aren't you? Okay, I can't talk to those cats, I guess. Okay, so I talked to one. I got one dwarf. I'm assuming that there's not another. Riki, the sculptor's model. Uh, I'm assuming that there's not gonna be another drunken dwarf here, so I'm gonna have to go find them elsewhere. This is a quest I'm not sure if I've done. I don't know if I've done because then, then I grow them Kelda hops. Yeah, I grow them here. Tombar. Rind the gardener. Yeah, it's, are you a bit tall for dwarf? Is there anything particularly you wanted? Uh, I'm assuming not. Okay. Let me, uh, so now let's go to Edgeville, and then I'm gonna go check, I'm gonna go check that mine for a drunken dwarf. And then, if there's not one there, or if there is one there, I'm gonna check the pass under the ice mountain for a dwarf also. And then after that, I don't, no, I can't. I I can't think of any other. Can't think of any other dwarf locations off the top of my head. Okay. Oh, the uh, the dwarven camp, the black guard dwarven camp. I don't know if there's any drunk dwarves there though. Um, I don't see any that could be considered drunken dwarves here. Uh, okay. If there are any drunken dwarves, they're gonna be over on this side of the map. Let's see. Dwarf, 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 Hura. Boot. You're not a drunken dwarf, are you? Hello, tall person. Why are you called Boot? I'm called Boot because when I was very young, I used to sleep in a large boot. Ah, great. I didn't want your life story. Um... Hammer Spike Stout Beard? That is a cool name. Uh, Dwarf Gang Member? I didn't even know this was over here. Or did I? I don't know. It doesn't look like there's a drunken dwarf here. I may have to go search all the bars to find one. Um, yeah, I don't see any drunken dwarves here. Ride train cart. Where does that go? Oh, this goes back to Keldegrim, doesn't it? <laughs> I am a moron. All right. Great. That's uh, I I knew that. All right, so let's go to uh, Taverly, and then I'm gonna find that under the pass to go underneath the, the mountain. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's there might be a drunken dwarf there. Um, and then I'm gonna have to search around to try to find a new dwarf, I guess. Um, okay, so this cave here. Is there a drunken dwarf here? Hello there, youngster. Who are you calling youngster? Why well, you, unless you've been the small village of Fowl or grown to the heaving city like I have, of course. Uh, no. Enjoy your mountain, enjoy your mountain home. Uh, holo, holoi. 
Oh, hello. Uh, what's in these boxes? Crossbows. Are you interested? Uh, maybe. Are they any good? Are they any good? No, okay. Um... Korvac. Hello there. I'm looking for some Kelda hop seeds. Oh, we got an expert here. Kelda Stout is delicious. Sounds ghastly to me, but I want to know- I want to brew some to help a uh, friend of mine. Ah, uh, I just got a sheet you might like to borrow. Borrow? How can I borrow a seed? I can hardly give it back once it's grown it. Then we've got no deal. What if I offer you a- No, wait, I want to borrow it after all. You're going to give it back after you're done with it, right? Of course. After I've grown my Kelda seeds into hops, then harvested the hops and brewed my Kelda stout, sure, I'll give you back your seed. That's very decent of you, human. I'm only too happy to help. Oh, wait a second. Hey, wait. Yes? How are you gonna give me back my sheet once you've made it into Kelda stout? You'll be too drunk to find your way back here. Oh, don't worry. Like I said, it's not for myself. It's for a friend. Oh, that's right. Here you go. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, I'll have to figure out what- Oh, well, that's about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you'd like to see more. Good no- Good- Yeah. Shush. Outro. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!